All right, welcome back everyone. Um, this is Utah Detail Doctors, our YouTube channel, just kind of doing some in-depth videos here on our water tank system and how we've gotten it to work that the way we want it to and work really well. Um, so please stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. And All right, this is the view, doors open. You can see that we got the 100 gallon water tank in there strapped down. Um, honestly, it was kind of difficult to figure out how I wanted to do this and how to do it really well. But um, I kind of will go over everything from water coming in to water going out. So we're going to come over here where all the magic starts. All right. So this is our water deionizer right here. It holds a bunch of resin that then filters out the water. So then it is 100% water, like filtered, deionized, which makes it so that it is spotless water. Um, if you've detailed cars and sun, there's only one way to do it right, and that's with this. Um, so like I said, this tank holds 100 gallons. Um, wanna have plenty of water to wash as many cars as we need to but right here we'll hook up a water hose from a spigot turn it on and it'll go into here right here i have a float valve so as the water's filling up it'll have a float in there and then it'll lift up and stop the water so then you don't overflow you don't have to sit there and watch it filter and fill up for a ton of time. Um, so I can show you that valve in here. It's a good view, but so this valve will go up All right, and then this is where the water will come out have a little threaded PVC here going in to a T and then we have a valve here going to our pressure washer so when we get ready to go we just turn it on and boom we're in business I like to leave it off so we're not getting any leaks just in case then this second one here is a hose coming into the back makes it really easy to fill up buckets I don't know about you but I've tried filling up a five gallon bucket with um, just my pressure washer line, and it's not that fun. All right, so we're gonna come in here, show you how it works, and go turn on the generator. Boom, running. Come over here, make sure water's on. Turn on the pressure washer. Pick up the gun. great yeah if you guys have any questions on this setup please just give a comment below um, like I said I had a difficult time trying to figure it out myself what's the best way what's the right way and obviously you can do it however you want but this way has worked really well for me we're home now but I just want to talk about that tank setup for a second so I filter all my water going into the tank. So my tank is holding 100% pure deionized water. I have a TDS meter that I measure the water when I'm filling up. So then when I get those higher ratings, um, I know when to replace my resin in my deionizer. So then that water is pristine at zero, which means there's no sediment in there. So then I have those two lines coming out of the tank, one to the pressure washer and then one for filling up buckets or washing my hands or whatever I need. But everything coming out of that tank is pure deionized water, which is a huge big deal for me being in Utah where it's sometimes 100 degrees and there's no other way to wash a car without getting water spots than doing it this way. So like I've said, this system works great for us. Um, it's kind of complicated to get it all set up the way we wanted to and to work right 
there's a bunch of different ways you can do it and those are all great too but just kind of want to give you what I did and how it's worked and yeah if you have any thoughts leave a comment below any questions give us a like and a subscribe thank you